it's a special place to dive for sure. And we even spoke to other divers there who were there just specifically on dive trips. That's all they wanted to do. And they're like, we have people come from literally all over the entire world. There's multiple shipwrecks, there's multiple reefs. You, and lots of shark diving. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. And a quick change of plans. Jenny's done her four dives. She doesn't have to go diving today, which means I get to go dive in her place. And we're gonna go out maybe to the caves and maybe to the sea lions. In this episode, we settle in in Cabo Pomo, Baja's most beautiful place to scuba dive and where I get my scuba certification. I'm Jesse. I'm Jenny. And you're watching Outside is Calling. but I'm really glad he made me do it in the pool because then he also made us do it in the water where he, we took off our gear and then he took my mask and I had to swim, I don't know why, but I had to swim around my gear and then he handed me my mask back and I put that on and then I, I mean, I could still the, breathe the, if I had to. This out in deep water? Yeah, he also had to just do it out there. We weren't, we wow. were like maybe 15 feet. Deep enough. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Guess I might be a better diver than you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I had to go do my first open water dives. Two tanks, so two different dives. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. I'm nervous. <laughs> too nervous. How about Jared? Are you I'm nervous? nervous yeah, yeah, a little first bit. First open water dive as well. You're <laughs> too nervous too. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You can't be nervous. What are you doing? What? This is my first time too. <laughs> yeah, no this is my fourth. <laughs> <laughs> What's really cool with Mexico is this, it's, you know, very chillax kind of mood. And so when Ginny and the other guy were set to go out there to do their, their initial open water dives, our whatever, first, dive, our first yeah. dives, uh, they, they said, hey, dad, do you and baby want to go? So I actually took her and I hopped on a boat and then we headed out there and it was a pretty fun, you know, afternoon out there in the water. Yeah, that first dive, I'll never forget. That was really cool. It's just a, it was a shallow reef dive, but there was a part of the reef where it was just like a huge tunnel in the rock, and we just got to swim through, which I'm sure to regular divers or people who have experience, it's not a big deal. But for me, it's like basically my first dive. This was like, I'm like, oh, I'm like cavern diving. This is the coolest thing, you know. But it was really, really cool. It sounds pretty cool. It was, yeah. it was, a, it was a good <laughs> reef. So we did, we did two reef dives, we did a drift dive, and then we did a shipwreck dive for sure. Mm, cool. <laughs> One, two, three! place to dive for sure and we even spoke to other divers there who were there just specifically on dive trips that's all they wanted to do and they're like we have people come from literally all over the entire world to stay at our resort and to dive this area there's multiple shipwrecks there's multiple reefs yeah it's just, you, and you, lots of shark diving yeah yeah pretty cool that's pretty awesome we also found out the the dive resort itself they also offer uh homes to rent so the dive resort let's say is here and the beach is here between the resort and the beach they have multiple properties that the resort that they rent out and you're also you're also right there which if you if you do plan to go to Cabo Pomo to dive we definitely recommend either staying at it doesn't have to be the resort at Cabo Pomo but stay as yeah, close in, as in you can yeah um 
because Jesse was able to um, go on a dive simply because we were there and we overheard them saying that they had an, an extra seat. Jesse was like, my butt will fill that seat. I will I'm go in. on that dive. I got gear. <laughs> All right, so it's very windy. You probably can't hear me, but in a quick change of plans, Jenny's done her four dives. She doesn't have to go diving today, which means I get to go dive in her place. And we're gonna go out maybe to the caves and maybe to the sea lions. Are difficult to use. Now the system we have is called the Nighthawk and it's made by Roadmaster. And they also have exceptional customer service, which is why we reached out to them and asked them to be a part of the series. But regardless of which Roadmaster tow system you decide to go with, if you use the code OUTSIDE, they are gonna hook you up with a free upgrade kit. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is pretty cool. In the kit, you're gonna get two great upgrades, a towing system a new cover, bag. a new bag to cut That cover is up. gonna come in handy. What I think is even better on this kit though are these two new handles. I would imagine it would be much easier like when it's really cold outside. Because the old handles, they're just slick and they're completely metal. And the new ones, it's got like that rubber coating on it so you can just like grab it and yank if you have to. <laughs> so thanks to Roadmaster for setting this up. I think it's a pretty cool value for any, you know, not all viewers are gonna have a motorhome or need a towing system, but if you have a motorhome, you yeah. wanna tow your vehicle, uh, this Nighthawk and like, I'll throw some B-roll here. You can see some of the places we've taken this bar through. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And we're towing, this is a full-size Dodge Ram. And the Nighthawk has definitely been up to the task yeah. of dragging it behind the motorhome and done a good job in the process. So if you want more information on the Nighthawk or just a Roadmaster tow bar in general, click this link right up here. What are you doing with those, by the I'm way? I'm pointing it to the left corner. Okay. You can find some of our earlier Baja videos over here. The next video in this series is right here. You can find out more information on our website as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.